Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video in Azure Data Factory playlist. So today we are going to see, a, see about what is linked services in Azure Data Factory. So in our previous video, we have discussed about what is integration runtime and how we can use integration runtimes in Azure Data Factory for our data movement and data orchestration. Also we have learned about what is what are the types of uh, integration runtime available in Azure Data Factory and what is self-hosted integration runtime and how we can use that by downloading and configuring in our machine. So we have also learned how to share a self-hosted integration runtime to data, multiple data factories. So in this video, we are going to cover about what is linked services and how it can be useful in Azure Data Factory. So we have seen the hierarchy level in our previous videos in Azure Integration Runtime. So where uh, we have discussed about how the hierarchy level falls in Azure Data Factory. So in this, we have the top level integration runtimes. We need to define the computing infrastructure first and the next step, we need to provide the connection strings for your source and the destination, which is the linked service. And then you can provide the data sets, which is the data source format, with which we are going to perform the data transformation or data orchestration. So the linked service is the connection string for your external resource which can be an uh, Azure or a third party resource that you are going to connect with. So this connection string will define the connection endpoint for your uh, data source or the destination and it will also contains the authentication type and the authentication method that you are going to use for your data source or data destinations. And it is uh, essential to provide the link to service to perform data movement between your source and the destination so just like you need to provide the computing environment infrastructure for your data movement you need to provide the connection strings to connect with your data so linked service helps you to provide the facility to connect with your data source to the data destination and perform the copy activity or data transformation activities so once you create a linked service for your source and the destination, you can use it in your activities and perform the data transformation and data orchestration activities. So let us see some of the uses of linked service in Azure Data Factory. So it will provide you with seamless integration of your data sources to your data destinations. So you can create linked services for a number of data sources and you can configure it with a number of destinations through the help of linked services where you need to first provide the connection string for your data source and the data destinations and you need to provide the authentication kind if it has anything so it facilitates you to move data and process the data and store it in different environments so you can uh, create a linked service for your on-prem data as well and you can move those data by creating a linked service in your Azure resources and you can perform uh, transformation from on-prem to cloud or cloud to yeah, another third-party cloud environments. So linked service allows you to create any number of data sources and destinations and it will allows you to integrate with diverse data sources and it ensures a unified flow in your pipelines. So you can uh, configure it with any data activities and perform those in a scheduled manner with the help of pipelines and what is the main role playing with the uh, linked services so it is helpful for you to connect with your data sources to perform the data transformation or data ingestion activities so why we perform those data ingestion and data transformation activities so for cleaning up the data and uh, getting insights of your raw data so in any analytical project you first the first thing we need to group the data into an analytical warehouse so there we are going to perform certain transformations to perform our analytics so we can transform the raw data or meaningless data to a insightful data with the help of uh, reporting tools so the data transformation and data ingestion is the main process involved in this so linked services are used to connect with the source and the destination and perform your data movements. So we can see some of the few linked services types available in Azure Data Factory. So we have connection 
to the Azure data like Gen2, Azure Blob Storage, Azure SQL Database, SAP HANA and other SAP services, Azure Cosmos DB, PostgreSQL, MySQL and Amazon S3 and later Amazon RDS or Redshift. So we have more than 90 plus connectors available in Azure Data Factory, not only the displayed one. We have a REST connection and uh, some other things. So you can uh, use those linked services to create your connection between a number of sources and you can also provision it with any destinations. So let us see how we can manage the linked services efficiently. So you need to provide a clear name for your linked service when you are creating it. So you can identify the linked service through the name and manage it efficiently. So it is highly recommended to perform your naming con convention while creating the resources. So you can just follow with linked service along with the resource name and the uh, environment that you are going to perform the data transformation. So you can identify the linked service which is used in any other activities and you can uh, easily manage those linked services. So in this you can uh, also provide the description where you can identify which linked services performs which activity. So it is uh, important to regularly review and update the authentication type for your uh, linked services. So if you are uh, if you are using any client secrets, it will expire in certain period of time. So you need to ensure that the authentication type is correct and uh, the linked services is running working fine to ensure the correct data movement from the source to the destination and we, it's a uh, best practice to use Azure Key Vault. Azure Key Vault is a resource provided by Azure where you can uh, store your credentials and certifications where you can secure securely store those credentials and certification and get a key and endpoint secret so you can use those Azure Key Vault keys and secret in linked services to configure and uh, you can also parameterize linked service so you can uh, use a single parameterized linked service and pass the value to the linked service and dynamically access those linked service so this will efficiently reduce the linked service creation or uh, duplication so these are some of the few managing capabilities of our linked services so i hope you have understood what is linked service and how it can be useful in azure data factory to connect your source and the destination so if you find this video is helpful please like and share with your friends please subscribe to the channel and plus press the bell icon so you can get the notification whenever i upload the video thank you for watching